Jack.
Hey, yo, chat. What's good? What's good, chat? Hold on. Camera's good, I think. Shat. I'm using the shat. I'm using the shut. What's good, man? I can't even do that, bro. I cringe so hard. Why y'all still arguing about that, bro? Like, I don't, <laughs> it doesn't, I don't think it matters. Like, y'all, y'all gotta settle that beef, bro, I swear. Let's go Slurpee, and Guru, and Wizard, and Pixel. <laughs> You're gonna cut no, bro, it's not that deep. I swear it's not. Bro, chat, what if Carlbot joins YouTube chat? Okay, I think we're chilling. Fuck. <laughs> ah, hell no. Nah. Ah, oh, nah, I just spilled it everywhere. <laughs> Hold on, chat. Hold on. Panama, show myself. We're good chat. It actually wasn't that big of a mess. So we're chilling. Yo. Shadow was good. Bro, Carl. That's crazy, bro. Carl. <laughs> Carl found me, bro. I'm not even surprised. Carl, you're weird. Not even surprised. I don't know who's behind Carl, but it's kind of crazy. I, uh, yeah, I, I bet it is, bro. For sure. I, I, weren't you saying you hated my streams? Like, what? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope my Wi-Fi doesn't, like, freeze up the whole time. Man, Carl's not even that bad. He's just kind of weird. Carl's not even a bot. There's no way he is. You haven't been here. You got a new channel you're posting on? AW. How did you miss Carl? Bro, Carl, Carl just got here and then he left. Alright, but anyway... As far as the story goes, hold up. Shit. Hold up.
All right, so yeah, we're on chapter nine. We're on chapter nine. No way, I know that guy. I know that guy. I love that guy. Dynamite Reacts is amazing. But yeah, so here we are. Chapter 9. Can I read the entire thing real quick? Dude, it's long. All right, yeah, I guess since we have, and Shadow's here now too, and Shadow hasn't heard it yet. So, Shadow, what's been happening is I have a series of streams that I do sometimes where it's, uh, I'm writing a story, like, in chat. Chat, like, helps me come up with the characters and stuff, and it's, like, it's fun. And, like, we're, we're just running out this, like, <laughs> this story, and it's, like, really poorly written on purpose, and it's funny. So, it's called A Story of All Time, because it truly is, and, yeah, it's just... I'm going to read it. This is story time with Dino. Sounds fun? Yeah, it is fun. Chat really likes it. So, <clears throat> Chapter 1. A bird flies into a store window. This was no ordinary bird, though. She was a plush bird in her 40s. After realizing that the window was closed, she decided to open it and fly in. Hello, Darith, the bird said to a man. The man looked up in surprise. <laughs> How do you know my name? The man replied with a nervous smile. He is very on edge today because that morning he had gone to take a poop. A man climbed out and claimed to be John Adams. Now this goofy stuffed bird walked into the store in the middle of his six-hour Microsoft edging streak and somehow knows his name. I'm already out of breath, bro. This is bad. <laughs> oh my god. The bird wasn't about to make bro's day easier. I know everything about you. I can also make you do anything. That's not true, Dareth said. He was clearly stupid. Are you a stalker? The stuffed bird was getting tired of this. I can mind control, bro. Not that hard to understand. Then Doodle proceeded to take over Dareth's mind and make him run away to search for a big Tonka jug. After permanently ending Dareth's Microsoft edging streak and stealing a few AFL posters, which is like an Australian football thing apparently, someone in chat told me to add that, due to the stuffed bird who mind control decides to walk back to her nest. Oh. You've been, yeah, Shadow, you have been gone for a while, but it's okay. It, it's not a big deal. I'm glad you're back though. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Yeah, people have mixed opinions on this book because some people take stuff too seriously and other people are just around for fun. But yeah. I'm not talking. I'm talking to Shadow in chat. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, you went somewhere for a while? I know you did too. Yeah, my bad. I, I was talking about Shadow. <laughs> You're good though. All right. Chapter two. As Doodle was walking, she heard a Tonka truck in the distance. Three seconds later, the Tonka truck is driving down the road she's walking on. Doodle's life flashed before her eyes. This is the end, she thought to herself. If only I had flown home like every other bird. But just as the truck was about to hit her, a mud puddle oozed out of the nearby grate. Seeing that the bird was about to die, he oozed faster and swallowed Doodle whole. Doodle opened her eyes and found herself in a brown universe. Is this heaven? She didn't have a long time to think about that because then, then she got launched upwards and landed back on the street she had died on. Now this had to be heaven. She glanced down at the ground for no reason and saw a mud puddle with goofy big eyes. God? She asked in surprise. The mud puddle stared back. A bunch of boring dialogue later, a doodle became friends with a mud puddle named Slurp and discovered that he saved her life. Then he had tried to ask her out but she declined. Mud puddles are known cheaters. Chapter 3, bro. This is so bad. I agree, bro. This book is bad, but that's like the point. This book is so bad. <laughs> Out of the shoutouts, you're still uploading stumble content, you're going strong. Just check out the vids. Though you rap oh thank you, thank you. <laughs> nah, so Bro What what are you yapping about? What <laughs> But yeah, uh so how that rap became a thing was uh, I was freestyling. It was on my Valentine's Day stream. That's why it's called a Valentine's Freestyle. I was doing like a special Valentine's Day stream and I was freestyling on that beat. And then Slurpee, which is one of my new mods in chat, he uh, 
he mixed it and then sent it to me with like a little bit of auto tune and stuff. So I was like, yo, this is sick. So I'm gonna put this on my channel. And yeah, all the other videos are gone. I profited them because Stumble Guys, that's just not me anymore, bro, you know? And like, I, I might put them back someday once I have a lot of like newer videos. But for now, I don't know. This is a new leaf. Feel what I'm saying? You were bored. <laughs> Didn't think you were gonna post it. Yeah, I I don't know. Looking back, I don't know if I should have because, not that it was bad. It was really, it was good. It was good. But uh, I don't know. I feel like I should have waited until I had more songs that I actually worked harder on than just a freestyle. But no, that's cool. <laughs> uh, so the French part is yeah. I was confused. I was like, what? Okay. Anyway, chapter three. After clarifying to Slurp that it wasn't a date, Doodle and Slurp decided to explore the jungle. How did they get there? Doodle let Slurp get on her back. She didn't like it. Once they were at the jungle, Slurp started eating rocks. You can only find the moss flavored ones out here. He was about to eat another one when some big red dude snatched it away. Hey, give it back, Slurp whined. The regular little man looked down at him. My name is Randy, he said, as if anyone asked. And I don't share. Slurp was about to cry. You're an L man, he said. Doodle noticed that Slurp was fighting with a big red gorilla, so only because she was tired of hearing them yell and she thought the gorilla looked funny, she flew down and snatched the rock from the big ape and gave it to Slurp. That was the last straw for Randy, bro. Randy's so stupid. <laughs> Randy's the goat, bro. Using all his bottled up rage, he unleashed a big fireball in all directions, burning down the whole jungle in seconds. Oops, Randy said and giggled like a little girl, then Bo decided to follow Doodle and Slurp back home and they didn't try to fight it. I know, Randy's the goat, chat. W Randy in chat, W Randy. Bro, Ra <laughs> Randy's my favorite character, bro. Randy's the good, all right. <laughs> Chapter four. So they ended up in a dumpster in the hood. It's because Randy was hungry and also stupid, so he tried to eat trash. But then a group of, a group of hood kids had pushed them into the dumpster un and unloaded the clip of Nerf darts. That, re that resulted in Randy getting the massive boo-boo on his left cheek. Where's the nearest band-aid, bro? Why? This is so dumb. <laughs> Slippy was about to swallow Randy and- Oh yeah, so I wrote this chapter when uh, G-Man was at my house. I, I remember that. When, when we were doing the one 600 sub special stream. <laughs> Slurp is about to swallow Randy and never let him out when he heard people talking in the distance. This is what they got from the dialogue. We just robbed a Gucci store, bro. Uh. We're making these bands on gosh. Uh. We just made those lames bleed in the dumpster, bruh. That's how gangsters talk, Jet. Randy was getting very impatient. My left cheek hurts. I want my step uncle. Ah. He's being so loud that the gang leader heard him and walked over because that's what people do. Who are you poppers? The tough, the tough big guy said. He was clearly the leader. Taken aback by their use of language. Doodle said, we were just stopping by for a rest. We were just about to leave. So sorry. The big leader wasn't about to let that slide. Nah, fam. Nobody leaves the guru gang. You either affiliated or you die. Uh, no thanks, Doodle said and backed up. Just then, one of the short hood kids leaped up and punched the leader in the face. Uh, she said, that's our cue, Slippy said it as if this was on Nickelodeon. They all ran off as the leader called out to them. Nobody runs from BBG. Randy blushed. Is he trying to flirt? Slippy wanted to keep himself safe from Randy. I forgot I put that. <laughs> Doodle was actually making conversation with the pink fox cat, who was also the kid who punched BBG. So what's your name? Uh, Doodle thought that was an odd name, but her mom told her to always be nice to people. That's an awesome name, Doodle said and smiled. Where would the squad go next? Oh, uh, what's up, Pineapple? A guru is a popper? Bro, what? <laughs> Bro, W story so far. Where would the squad go next? Chapter 5. Once the squad got to Dime Square, they saw that there was a Lil McGoober concert that night, so they decided to attend it for free because Doodle Mind controlled the guards to let them in. The concert was lit! He performed his hit single, Slime You Out, as well as his other hits like It's Not Easy Being a Slime and Slime Split. When the limes dimmed, everyone knew that meant he was about to perform Slimezilla and everyone went crazy. Slimezilla, leave me out the where I'ma turn you to a Slimezilla. When everyone was partying and drinking too many Barks Root beers, they didn't notice that Mick Goober had gone pixelated. His singing had also gotten way worse. I'm normal during the day, but at night turned to a Slimezilla. No, I was supposed to sing that bad. I'm normal during the day, but at night turned to a Slimezilla. Randy was disappointed. Google, uh, Goober just missed that note. Boo, I want my money back. 
We didn't even pay money, little bro, yelled Slurp. Then everyone fainted except for the squad and Goober. But then Goober sprouted a dragon head. Bro, this makes no sense, but that's like the point. <laughs> this is so dumb. When Doodle Slurp, Randy, and O were gaping at him, he started talking and that's when they realized it wasn't actually Goober. Ha ha ha, he said because he's the main villain of the story. I'm Pixel Pikusuru, and I'm a pixelated shapeshifter straight out the Matrix. My main form is a dragon, and I murdered Doodle's brother with a butter knife. Then he flew off with unconscious Lumpy Goober on his back. See, we didn't even talk about earlier that, like, Doodle's brother was dead. Like, that's how poorly written this book is. Like, what? The squad all looked at each other. Doodle was mad. That popper murdered my brother. We need to show him, like, she's just figuring this out now. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I, I didn't even think about, like, was Doodle's brother alive before and she, like, just realized it now? Or, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Chapter 6. I know it's fine. That's, like, the point. I don't know. <clears throat> Why are you speaking in French? English only chat. English only. No, I actually don't care. Whatever. It's just no one, no one's gonna care. Chapter 6. The squad ran away from the stage until they were in the woods. I found a cave, guys, Randy said, being useful for once. They walked into the cave and instantly fell in love. It was so big and beautiful. Doodle wasted no time. Okay, guys, I'll make weapons. Slurp will make armor. Randy will make decorations for the cave. And I will cheer us on. We're going to kill this popper of a dragon. Kill is a very... Kill is like the worst word we've put in this book. Other than popper, obviously. But Slurp thought that it would be smart to make the armor out of titanium. So he spit some of his... So he spit some out of his bottomless pit. He has literally everything in there. And sketched out the whole design on a blueprint before realizing that he had no arms. Um, Doodle, he called. How am I supposed to do this? Doodle was very exhausted and did not have the patience for this. Why are you complaining and being lazy? Do you know how important this is? Stop slacking and just make it. Slip, slip side. Why are you slamming in a mood? He said a line from Lil McGuber's song, Slamming in a Mood. Randy didn't know how to make decorations. Randy didn't know how to do anything. Usually, what he did in these situations was cry about it on the floor. So why would today be any different? Doodle was moving along with her weapon craft. She had already crafted 101 steel swords, 223 Glock 19s, Nerf Gun Edition, only we ones know that reference, and 83 grenades. She even took the time to fly to the store and buy all the Hawaiian Crunch Crackers. Doodle felt like she deserved a break around the same time Randy decided to stop crying on the floor and take out his anger in Doodle's workroom. It wasn't long until Doodle heard a commotion. She walked back into her room and saw Randy surrounded by a bunch of broken weapons. He was chewing on a sword when he turned around and saw her. Oopsies, he said in gold. Bro, chat, I'm not a good storyteller, so if you guys don't know what's going on, it's not your fault, it's mine. Because, like, <laughs> when you get unbanned from the void? Oh, yeah, so I did unban you. Alright, I'm not going to, like, talk about this right now, but... It's a whole story. I can tell you another time. All right. Olive was living his best life. The whole, the whole time in the Guru Gang, BBG would constantly call her a failure and shoot her with Nerf guns. Now she got to run from room to room, yelling encouraging words to everyone. Oh, oh, bro, this is this part's so dumb. I hate reading this part out loud. Oh, oh, she yelled to do, she yelled to doodle. I can't even talk. Oh, 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 oh. she hollered to sleep. Oh, 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 she screamed at Randy, making him scared. For once, all found a purpose in life. After 47 minutes of somewhat hard work, they all met in the center of the cave feeling really depressed. Even oh, for some reason, even though she was just- I'm removing that, that's so stupid. Why did I even put that? Like, that's not even, like, funny. That's just dumb. <clears throat> then Doodle realized something. We have powers, guys. I can mind control Slurp as a bottomless pit that- That's also dumb. That that's not even- I don't know why I thought that was funny. Slurp is a bottomless pit, Randy can breathe fire, and Oz furs is blinding sometimes. Just in case you guys are confused. We don't need weapons, Doodle continued her I have a plan speech. We have these powers that make us who we are. I have a plan. I have a plan that we will use our powers to defeat this evil pixel dragon guy and move on with our lives. Either before or after the clout. Whatever we decide. Everyone cheered because that's what you do when someone finishes a speech. Then the cave exploded and they all died. Quick question, what's up? <clears throat> Alright, so... How quick is this question? I'm trying to move on. 
He was my favorite person in the chill, bro. I can't answer that. Like what? By the way, chill server, link in the description if y'all want to be included in that list if I ever do make a list. All right, anyway. Chapter 7. So, or did they? No, they didn't. But the cave really did explode, so everyone was in shock when they saw all their hard work go up in flames. Everyone except for BBG, who was standing right next to the flaming cave. You thought you could run from us, he said with his cool voice. Nah, you can't run from us. Doodle was mad. If you're so tough, take off the ski mask and show us your face. BBG had been waiting for this moment. Okay, fine. Maybe I will. And he did, but not just the ski mask. He took off all his clothes. And before he get all weirded out, he's not actually a human. He's a giant brain. BBG started laughing. I am Big Brain Guru, and I am approximately 6 feet 8 inches tall and 4 feet 3 inches wide. We did not need to know that, Slip said. Yes, you did, BBG whined. The squad noticed that he no longer had a tough guy voice. Instead, he had a Sid the, <laughs> I forgot I put this. He had a Sid the Science Kid budget voice. Doodle smiled. Not that cool anymore. The Guru gang nodded their heads in agreement and started backing away. This is so stupid. <laughs> That was the last draw for BBG. He started whining and screaming and throwing a tantrum on the ground. Fine, leave. I don't need the Guru Gang anyway. I'll just join Steppy Gamer's gang. After his mini fit, Guru turned to the squad. Don't try to fight me. I'll figure out your address in approximately 3.14159265 seconds. Slurp decided to spit more facts. First of all, we don't have an address. You just blew up our house. Second, we're not gonna fight you. We just want to leave. That sounds like a threat to me, BBG sneered. You don't want the smoke. And with that, he shot a nerf laser at Randy. Okay, chapter eight. Chapter eight. Why are you yapping in French? <sighs> whatever makes you happy, whatever. Chapter eight. As Randy got hit by the laser, Go Doodle rushed up to BBG and started trying to control his mind. But since Guru is a giant mind, it doesn't work like that. Meanwhile, Slurp spat up a rocket launcher and gave it to Doodle. She then used it to shoot BBG in the face. Because Guru is a giant brain, getting hit with the rocket gave him a concussion, like everywhere. Ah, oh, it burns, it screams, because you best believe it burned. After BBG magically disappeared after that fight, like some shit out of Pokemon, the squad realized they were just a trio. Where's oh, Slurp asked. Randy got up, realized the laser wasn't trying to eat his toes, <laughs> Bro, what? I wasn't trying to eat his toes and started looking for Uh. The other two followed him. Long story short, they found Uh by the seashore. She had found an abandoned boat, conveniently tipped over where the sand meets the sea. Okay. Rand picked it up and put it back upright, and they boarded the boat. They had no idea what they were doing. Slurp turned to Doodle. You know, you looked really cool fighting BBG early. Bro, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. You know, you looked really cool fighting BBG earlier. Doodle looked back at Slurp. I couldn't have done it if he didn't give me that rocket launcher, she said with a smile. Then they stopped flirting because the author, the author was cringing too hard. That's factual, bro. <clears throat> You're back in the goo, gang. This book is incorrect. Yeah, well, may maybe I'll put that at the end of the book. Like, BBG magically reappears and says, Hey, I'm sorry. I, I should have stuck with the... The Guru Gang, you know. <sighs> Alright, chapter 9. So they're on the boat. Now we're actually writing it. So it's about to get interesting. So. They're on the boat right now. They're sailing. Uh, hmm, so. Yes, so in. So in case. It was your bedtime. What? I'll sum it up. is on a boat the squad is on a boat and and they're sailing to the dragon island where pixel lives Yeah, uh, 
Pixel, chapter 10 is going to be when they arrive at your HQ, is what I was planning. It's like, chapter 10 would be one of the last chapters, which is kind of surprising. Because I feel like we've been doing this for a while, but we're not going to, I'm not trying to make it a super long book, you know? Maybe we'll do a sequel. Maybe we'll do a sequel. You know? The sequel would not hurt. It's going to be better than the Megamind sequel, for real, for real. No, they should have a big ship fight. Chat. Chat, what if, like, there was a bunch of, like, pirates on the boat or something, and they, they had to fight them? Like, hold on. Now I'm gonna make it, like, a dumb fight, though. Like, Randy, Randy like, burns the whole ship down or something. It's gonna be dumb. Yo, what's up, Kidney? Uh, so, yeah. How did they figure out that pixel on on an island? Trust me, bro. No, hold on, not trust me, bro. It's like They decided to trust an old man. In the sand. Before they left. Best source. Oh, yeah, so. How did they figure out the pixel lived on an island? They decided to trust an old man they found half buried in the sand before they left. Best source out there. Bro, why does it change it to bets? Best source out there. After everything is said and done, Pixel is a very weak form and then just blame his loss on Guru. <laughs> That'd be funny. I might do that. And Guru just like left. Guru's not even related to Pixel at all. Guru's just like his own gangsta nerd guy. Bro, Hatsu Miku is like that. Dude, I know who that is. Hatsune Miku's like that, that blue-haired anime person. <clears throat> I don't care, Mabu. Uh, but yeah. What do I do now? Like, uh, I'm kinda... Kinda setting up for the fight. And his gang for no reason. Yeah, that that's the thing. This book is so poorly written. I could just do that, and it would like not even be that, like surprising. Best source out there. I should include some pictures in the book. Chat when I publish the book. If you guys want to like make some pictures for me, like if there's any artists in here that like want to, like want to draw some pictures, that'd be awesome, bro. <laughs> but I can make it like a picture book. Like, not, not a picture on, like, every page, but, like, occasionally. You know? Just, like, a picture. Maybe, actually. Okay, well, I don't know how to pronounce in her name, of all things. Like, I know I'm not the best at pronouncing stuff, but... Is it Hatsune Miku? Is it H Hatsune? Is the E, like, a... Or is it Hatsune? You made pictures in the no, I meant like for the scenes and stuff, you know, like for the different scenes, parts of the parts of the story. Ah, oh, but anyway, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I actually don't need to. I'm about to say it in Discord. You go ahead. Like I don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Best source out there. On the ship. Randy needed to. Randy needed to go to the bathroom. See, so he 
down to a lower level of the ship. To look for a toilet. You sent it in Discord? Okay, awesome, amazing. Why does it say a loom? A ship to loom for a toilet? Is that, is that something that people say? <laughs> I'm going to go loom for a toilet. On the other ship? What other sh it's only one ship. Now, what I was going to do is I was going to make his, uh, I was going to make his piss like, like fire. <laughs> so he burns down the whole shit. <laughs> Hold on. And they have to like swim forward or something. <laughs> Hold on. Now, but I was going to make a poop because like, I don't know. Poop is like less weird than pee, I feel like, personally. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's it's less weird to put in a book. <laughs> I was going to make it like poop fireballs. Yeah, yeah, y'all don't understand. It's like it. This reminds me of when I re used to read like. No, nah, it's like it's when I used to read. Captain Underpants. You know, I used to read that all the time, and uh. They would always make more jokes about poop than pee. And I think it's because like. I'm not exactly sure, but it, it just feels it feels less weird to put poop than it does to like say this guy this guy pissed all over this. <laughs> like I don't know. Because, like, when I, when I think of someone peeing, I think of, like, their wee-wee, feel what I'm saying? What if he just wanted to burn down the ship? Maybe, but it would be funnier if he, like, pooped it out. Yeah, that's why, yeah, that's why, because more people have, yeah, that's, that's why. So I'm trying to make it, you know... As as broad as I can, like for audience, audience was. Even though it's like targeted towards little kids, who cares? All right. <clears throat> I'm too tired to write this, bro. He was humming, hold on. He was humming a tune to, I, I gotta think of another Little Big Goober song. Uh, to Slimy Watch, bro. I came in with a new Slimy Lot. <laughs> slimy, Slimy Watch. You, okay, I'm not, I'm not doing glaive bro i'm sorry oh, are you talking about like slimy watch just sounds disgusting on oh, my fault okay we'll, we'll go, uh... slimy watch by lo Goober. all my slimers bro that's crazy all my slime Stall to be vacant. I think that's a that's a word people use a little bit, right? No, I'm not smart yet. I'm actually pretty. 
I'm pretty stupid. I'm pretty stupid, man. I'm pretty dumb, dumb, man. I can't lie. How about there's an oil fire in the kitchen? Bro, maybe. I don't know. Burned a hole. What if he burned a hole in the ship while he used the bathroom? Now, what if he just, like, pooped out one fireball and it, like, exploded the whole ship in flames? Or, like, some just dumb thing like that. I don't know. Took him a little bit. Took him a little bit to wonder why the stall was even occupied if his friends were all upstairs. He started. I started freaking out, man. Go away. Go away. Go away, demons of the wooden ship, and and twirled his finger like a wand and Harry Potter. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> Coke is in the nose, God. He looked over the stall and screamed, Go away, demons of the wooden ship, and twirled his finger like a wand in Harry Potter. The man looked up and said, The, the, the man looked up. Weird popper. He shoved it. Yo! <laughs> Organ. Organ, are you bad? Wait. Organ is, is Ramadan? Oh, hold on. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. My fault. I don't know what you want me to say. I always feel weird, like I don't know what, what, what people want me to say on stream and what they don't. Okay, okay, that you're cool. Alright. Ramadan is thirty days long. You'll be back soon? Okay, cool. What day is it now? I haven't been keeping track. Say anything? Okay, okay. I didn't know. Like some people some people get like sensitive if I mention that stuff. I didn't know. It's happened before in the past, so I didn't want to like this day ten? Okay, cool. <clears throat> that somehow summoned a bunch of other pirates. No offense will ever be taken. Cool. I <laughs> appreciate you. Man, why are you yapping in French?
they all had hold on. They all had swords. <laughs> and nerf guns, bro. Ner I don't know why I'm putting that. Like, nerf guns just seems like funnier. Like, it, it just every character in the book has like a nerf gun instead of like a normal gun. They all have swords and nerf guns. They're all pointed. Brandy, hold on. Brandy. He could have yelled something. He could have yelled something really cool and terrifying at the pirates. To scare them off. Like, don't mess with the alpha. Chat, use that in your everyday lives and it'll, like, solve all your problems. Out of all the things he could have done... He pooped a fireball. And the ship is wooden. So that didn't go well. Ha 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 ha. You gotta go. See you, Pixel. <clears throat> oh, all right. How long is this page? Okay. Slurpee's back. Yo, what's good? He had a fat crack and it slipped and accidentally broke the earth's tectonic plates with this immense weight. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's actually not that big. It's just chapter nine was at the bottom of the page. It's like, it's, it's decent. <clears throat> yeah, I might add like a Kraken. Or something. I don't even know. After Randy explained to everybody why the whole ship burned down and they were swimming in the water, the squad decided to swim found Slin. Twenty hours later. They were still swimming and they still hadn't found the island.
<sighs> yeah, speak English, bro. They're probably like dissing on me <laughs> in French. All right. But then a fat kraken. I don't know where and it was a cool. But they're wrong. Man, <laughs> that English not enchanting table, bro. I forgot to put uh I forgot to put actual right now instead of RN. Hold on. Man, I can't. All right. <sighs> Just absolutely flabbergasted. That Kraken was so chill. And the old man was right. Is a dragon island. Slurpy said with a grin. Slurpy, you're, you're, wait, no, it's just slurp, not slurpy. Bro, I'm forgetting all this stuff. It's been so long since I've done a story stream. Bro, I'm about to, like, make a rule that, like, it has to be English. Like, you guys are being weird. Chapter 10. <clears throat> and he was a boss on the island. Hey, maybe, maybe. Bro, I'm gonna make the boss battle so dumb. Like, I'm gonna make it, like, the worst thing ever. You were also a very Sigma male in Alpha. Well, I'd love to hear it. Hold on, chat.
Was it? Is it really that hard? I mean, I bet it is. I don't, I don't know. I don't know any French, but apparently Dynamite Reacts does because he's pretty mad. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Bro, what? What are you yapping about? I just, I'm looking at general right now, bro. <laughs> bro, that's that's actually crazy. I I want to cop this shirt, chat, 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 chat. Are we copying? Are we copying? <laughs> Are we copying this shirt? <laughs> chat, chat, bro. This is this is amazing. I love this. I I would I I gotta make this. I gotta make this some merch, chat. <laughs> bro, that's actually <laughs> crazy. <laughs> That's amazing, bro. That's the best thing I've seen all day. Bro, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make that some merch, bro. Low key. Y'all are giving me ideas. Bro, stop speaking French. We all know your English. Bro, no. Why are you being weird? Bro, what? Elf love, bro. Elf love. I mean, jo dragons. Dragon's still a, dragon's still a W mod. I do not speak any other language. I speak a little bit of Spanish, like Hola, hablo espanol. Like I, I took Spanish in school. Hold on. Uh, Buenos dias means good morning. And nido nido on medicolo, or something like that means I need I need a doctor. So if you're ever dying in like Spain, you just gotta say something to the effect of Nido un medicolo. Me what? Yeah, I do you speak Espanol. Como estas chico grande? Yeah, that means that means Como estas means your name, right? Chico, Chico means like your friend. No, that's amigo. But doesn't Chico also mean that? Oh, I'm not selling. Hold on. Como estas, Chico? How are you, dude? How are you, dude? How are you, dude? That's what that means. That's what that means. That was the stop yapping in French. I'm about to like actually. Bro, what? How are you big boy is crazy. Oh yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty bad at English too, you know. I struggle with pronouncing stuff a lot. I feel like my first language is like whatever the fuck I made up. Like you already know I have my own language. <laughs> like popper. Who's spamming these? It's Gabby, bro. Why is Gabby spamming a picture of a dancing rat? You 
first language was Arabic. Arabic? My bad. I pron See, I even pronounced that wrong at first. I'm not, I'm not bash, I'm not bashing Gabby, okay? I'm not. I was just saying, like. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, chat, bro, I'm tired. I actually might just end stream. We wrote, we wrote one. We wrote one chapter. That's some good progress. And I mean, I don't, don't really got nothing else to do. If y'all are just going to gap about. You know. Hold on, chat. I want to see how close I am to being monetized. It's probably not even that close. But, uh. Bro, if I didn't stop by the end of the year last year, I probably would already be monetized. I'm not even gonna lie. Hold on, earn. Oh, damn it, bro. We're losing. We're losing. We're losing. We're losing every day. Check general before you go. I did. I saw your shirt. Yeah, bro, bro, you just sent that earlier. I just, like, displayed it on stream. You missed it. I literally just displayed that. You just missed it. <laughs> I just saw that. But, yeah, uh. Oh, for real? Hey, W Slurp. Bro, I was, if I didn't stop streaming at, like, the middle of November, I was, like, so close. I only needed, like, 200 more or something, and I would have got that. Because, like, back then, I was getting, I was averaging, like, nine to ten viewers every stream and i fell off because i stopped for like two or three months so i would have been monetized probably already <laughs> did i make my bracket yet yeah i did I i'm in the i'm in the soon one i forget who i have winning i'll check it uh probably after stream because i'm not trying to look for that now Yeah, so right now I have 1,848. I don't even care. I don't think it matters if I leak this. 1,848 public watch hours out of 3,000 that I need for just the, the basic monetization. Which uh, basic monetization unlocks memberships, super chats, and I can like share my merch easier. Yeah, so that's that's cool. Oh, chat, bro, chat should have made my bracket for me, bro. Yeah, I have, I have the subs. Um, because I need at least 500 subs to get the basic one. And, I don't know, I just need. Yeah, whatever. I'll get there. Chat, gotta invite everyone you know, man. We gotta, gotta make stream entertaining. So people watch it all the time. We need as many people as you can. Gonna make streams long. Especially when we do the sub specials, you know? Uh, we need to get to 700 subs. I was at 680, but I lost like three subs. I'm gonna just keep posting cap code edits, bro. Until, until Oregon, it's okay. Oregon, uh, I know you're still doing Ramadan and all that. But until Oregon gets back and they edit my stuff. I'm gonna just keep posting cap code edits and see if if that does anything, you know? But you know. We're gonna be grinding soon. We're gonna be grinding soon. Alright. You'll make your edits? I mean I thought you said you were like Ramadan was still going on. That does that need to be over? Those don't take long? You mean like the shorts? The short edits? Cause like yeah, the shorts. The shorts is what I, are what I want. Like, first priority. Oh, for long form? Oh, shorts? Okay. Yeah, the shorts? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, shorts? Oh, so you're saying shorts don't take long? Well, then that would be appreciated if you could. Because, like, th those are the things that get me subs, I feel like. You know? Because, like, people scroll on shorts all the time. Cap coat till 700 is crazy. No, but, like, yeah, if it really doesn't take long, then that would be appreciated. For real. I sent you some uh, clips. I gotta pay you with cuddles as we oh, that's crazy. Bro, I'll, I'll call up I'll call up Carl, but they can do it for you. Oh hell no. Okay, I'm ending stream chat.
Peace out.